Hello everyone, this is Jason with for Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the holiday greeting. Uh, the holiday greeting is very important because it frees you up from having to manage multiple sites on helping them set up a alternate greeting for the holidays. It's a real simple, very effective way to manage most of your call handlers and voicemail box that need some sort of holiday message. So the first thing you need to do, and this will work for a call handler and a standard user mailbox the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a schedule I have one here just called for geek sake schedule and it just have your typical hours um, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday so this will run Monday through Friday because it's set for the weekday schedule now in order to intervene like this coming Thanksgiving falls on the Thursday of course so in order to intervene that Thursday's normal schedule I need to create an active schedule and I just called it holiday 2014 and you can build this out from start to finish I just created this just to do this video so I only did the Thanksgiving schedule and a Christmas schedule but what you would need to do is create the holiday schedule go back into the normal schedule and right here underneath the display name you'll see the holiday schedule and that's where you want to actually select the holiday schedule hit save then you want to go up to the call handler or the user mailbox wherever you need to apply the holiday schedule you come in here and under active schedule you just need to make sure that you select the proper schedule and the next thing you need to do if it hasn't already been done is go to greetings and make sure that your holiday schedule is enabled because by default it's going to be disabled so you need to go here and and this one's already done but I went in and checked the greeting enable with no end date have them put a personal greeting on it or you can use a system greeting and so the call handler you can send it to multiple places uh, in this example I'm just sending it back to the operator operators normally run 24 7 no matter what because they're the main hub of the organization so basically this particular call handler will be reverted back to the operator and that's really it I just felt like I needed to do this video because the holidays are coming up you got Thanksgiving coming up in two days you got Christmas coming up next month and then a week after that you have New Year so if you don't have a holiday greeting set up in place uh, and you manage multiple sites chances are you're going to be getting hit over and over and over to, for assistance with setting up some type of holiday message and this right here can be a lifesaver now some people have kind of like a weird schedule for instance um, Thanksgiving is on Thursday but but most people will take Thursday and Friday so you may have to have two different schedules or make use of the alternate greeting for those individual practice that does something weird on the holidays like maybe opening closing on Thursday but doing a half a day Friday so they all won't fit under one schedule but then you can create multiple holiday schedules or just have them utilize the alternate greeting where they can just play a message on top of the normal greeting until they turn it off or have a set end date okay I actually wrapped up the video but I just thought I needed to add one more piece of information to this video just so you guys can have full clarification of how the schedule works especially the start and end dates now as you see here I only have two holidays Thanksgiving and Christmas but you can add more than two I just only added these two just for demonstration purposes and now I'm gonna focus in on the Thanksgiving greeting so Thanksgiving is on a Thursday which is the 27th and that's my start date at 12 a.m. and my end date is November the 29th which is on a Saturday the reason why I did that is because most organizations will close on Thursday and Friday so that's why I stretched it to the Saturday because on Saturday it will turn off and it will follow the normal schedule and notice here at the daily active hours 12 a.m. to end of the day which is basically 11:59 p.m. so on each of these days this schedule will run it will run from 12 a.m. to 11:59 p.m. which is a whole day so it'll run 24 hours on the 27th 24 hours on the 28th and 24 hours on the 29th at 12 o'clock 
on November the 30th, this schedule will be invalid. It will be expired. And, that, and at that point, it will follow the normal schedule hours. Uh, that's it. I just wanted to add that piece in there. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. For geek sakes.